This video will introduce you to creating configurable reports in Epi Reviewer 4, which allow you to more easily extract data from your review. For analysis in Excel. Once you have logged into Epi Reviewer 4, click on the Reports tab. Then click on New to create a new report. Type in your desired report title and click Save. As we want to show one code per column in this report, we're going to change the report type to an answer report. Any code that has a white arrow next to it is capable of being included in this report. Locate the codes in your data extraction coding tool that you want included in the report and click on Add New Column. Then, drag the first code into the column. In order to check on your progress, click on Save and then Run. Choose the report that you just created. Then, decide which items to include, which could be all included items, all selected items, or items with a particular code. In this case, I want to include all items that I chose to include on full text. Then, choose which metadata should be displayed and click on Go. Here, you can see the report that has been created. At the moment, the words New Column are displayed at the top instead of the code name, which is currently in the cell alongside any additional text added or quotes that had been coded from the PDF. In order to have a cleaner report in Excel, we're going to change some of the settings. I prefer to have two columns for every code. This separates the code name from any quoted text associated with it. To do this, add another column and drag the same code into it. Then, click on the two squares at the top right-hand corner to maximise the column. Select the code name in the column title, cut and paste it into the column title at the top. Then, because we just want the code name in this column, we're going to uncheck the boxes Additional Text and Coded Text. Maximise the second column and repeat the step with the title, but this time add something extra to your code name. Then, because we only want the coded text in this column, uncheck the Code checkbox and click Minimise. Save your work and click on Run. Choose the report name again, check your settings and click on Go. Now you can see that we have the code name as the column title. Just the code name in one column and the coded text in the next column. Repeat those steps with all of the codes that you want included in your report. Then generate and save it as a HTML file. This will allow your report to be opened in Excel. You can also have your report only show items that have a particular code assigned to them. To do this, uncheck the Uncoded Items box and then click Go. Any items that do not have that particular code will not be displayed. Opening your file in Excel will look like this. It's a good idea to first save the file as an Excel spreadsheet before proceeding further. The report automatically merges the cells in the first few columns. You will need to unmerge them. To do this, highlight the cells and click on Merge and Center in the toolbar. Then, cut and paste the information into the row below and delete the empty row. This item now only has information in one row. If you like, you can delete the name of the item from the quote, but you might like to keep the page number there for future reference. You can now filter your report by clicking on the code name and using the Sort and Filter function. Choosing the empty cells will show all items that do not have that code, just as choosing the code will only show items that do have it. Any report that has been created in Epi Reviewer 4 can then be run in Epi Reviewer Web. To do this, go to the References tab and click on Run Reports. Select the items to be included and how they should be ordered. Select the report you want to use and check which metadata should be displayed. Then click on Run View. This will open the report in another tab. To save the report as a HTML file, click on the blue Save icon. Once saved, you can then open it in Excel. Thanks for watching. Please don't hesitate to contact us should you have any further questions?